Hello, hello, and welcome to Oros. In the last video, I unboxed Oros along with a couple other games. So today, we will actually play Oros, which does have a solo player variant, which is very exciting. So I will be yellow today, and my opponents are blue. Green. When I tried this out for the first time, the scores were 45 to 45 to 18. So I'm really gonna try and learn from mistakes and at least be in the running for first place. Let's get started. I get three actions, but the first one is always to place a follower on the map. And that's just the first thing you have to do for the first turn of the game. I'm going to go ahead and claim this number four. And now I can use my other two followers to do some actions. My options are to shift a row, move a tile, erupt, or send someone to study. I am the demigod of the living sun. And these are my followers. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I'll start by moving, and I'm going to move this triple ear up for one. I guess it's my second move. And my final move I'm going to shift. I think I'll go ahead and actually let's erupt. We're going to erupt this volcano here. This is a two volcano, so it fills in this island space, making it a three. And that's my turn. Now, chaos ensues. What does the demigod of the great waters have to say? In the B quadrant, they get to place a mountain and a sacred site. Just all the wonderful chaos already. So, placing it in B, Put it right there, and then they're putting their sacred site. You always start with the biggest one on the bottom. So they placed their sacred site, which means they gain a wisdom for that. So they increase their track. And in quadrant C, they're going to remove the highest value, which is a three. Gonna take away that lovely volcano eruption that I worked so hard on. And they're going to move up two spaces on the ascension track. One, two. Okay. The fertile land demigod is up next. And they're going to place sacred site in A, which, is this part of A? No, they cannot, so then they send a follower to study. Uh -huh. Okay, we are now shifting up. 
the first time we encounter a shift mechanic, and we can't because there's a mountain in the in the realm. So you cannot shift if there's a mountain. So nothing happens, but they do go up on the track. My turn. Okay, so I'm going to send this here, which is send to or return from study. I'm going to send this person over to study up here, which then opens up. Let's see how I want to play this. If we move this back over here to move, we're going to take these three tiles and crash them up here, and that'll go up. A two and a three becomes a four, and the remainder becomes a volcano. And the one and three become a four. So that was two actions. I get one more. What if I shifted this row down one so that my dude was touching the, the both of these fours and then if they're moving the board I might have more chances of crashing two fours together. So I need to crash two four tiles together to create a mountain and then I need to be standing on the mountain to create my sacred sites and that's how you end up gaining points over here. So, we'll give it a shot. We're still learning. We'll move this guy here to shift, and we're shifting everything one. Okay. Hopefully, that worked out. Blue. In quadrant B, they want to build a sacred site, but they can't because they've already built one on the only mountain there. So we go to the next option, which is to send a follower to study. They will not be changing the board, nice big blank right here, but they do ascend another point. The demigod of the fertile land in either C or D, they want to place a sacred site, but there's no mountain, and there's no other option, so that's fine. Next, okay, we're going to move this, shift it to, oh, okay, one, two. Go. And nothing, no third action. Okay. They did not totally screw me over. So, what I'm going to do is what order do I want to do this in? I know I need to move. This is still available. Okay, so I don't think it's really important. So I will move this to the moon. And I'm going to take these and crash them into these. 
So the two and the three become a four and a one. The four and the four become a mountain. And the two and the three again become a four and a one. There. Now, that was just one action. So for my second trick, I'm going to build my very first site, which is exciting. So when I build, I ascend to one, two, and I gain a wisdom. So let's gain a wisdom on the movement. That's two actions, so I have a third which will be to erupt. I'm going to erupt this and the extra space. We'll go here. In D, B, or A, they will build a sacred site. Oh wow, technically this spot isn't part of any quadrant. Well, that's fun. D, B, or A, you, they can't because blue is already put something there. So they don't actually do anything this turn because this is blank and this is blank. Sorry, blue. Green. In D, they want to put a sacred site, but they can't. So instead, the other option is to send to study. Okay, so they're going to shift this row to that, and they ascend. And the annoying part about the ascension track is that you can't have two, two demigods on the same uh, point on the map. So even though they only gain one, they jump all the way up to four. Rude. At least. It's rude when it works against me. It'll be great if it happens to me. Okay. Okay, so we want hmm. We want to get over there, which we can't do yet. So First, I'll start with this. Send or return. I'm going to bring this person back to gain a wisdom. And I'm going to gain it here. Then I'm going to move. Then I'm going to move. Oh, no, here. Shift. We are shifting this row one. And then we are moving. We can do it this way, do that, and then move these two over here. So there's a difference between the move and the shift. They're different actions. So, okay. I shifted, I moved, and I think I returned someone from study, right? So I think I'm done my three actions. 
Blue will send someone to study. They will not affect the board, but they will ascend. Aha. Uh -huh. You probably can't see it, but I've now reached number five, which is in red on the track. And that means the tiles that are red, oh, we're not supposed to leave them empty. These are supposed to gain uh, island tiles. But now we've hit a red patch, so every of these red tiles gets a two volcano. You get a two, and you get a two. This two becomes a four, and this two becomes a four. Okay. Great. They would like to build a sacred site in C, which is not available. Otherwise, they will send someone to study, which they can't, but they can return from study. So they gain two wisdom. So we look at these two to tell us what to mean. So they gain a follower wisdom and a temple wisdom. And I think I had done that wrong on this side, where I had given them a wisdom in the landmass that they are in the monolith when it should have been whatever was on the back of the card um, but i'll keep it for now and moving forward we will play by the rules okay you're going to try to shift this row to this green to green And going up on the track. All right. So I'm going to send to study this one. And then I'm going to move, and I can move a two set, so I'm going to crash these into here, the two is fine, and this three and one becomes a four, okay. Send and return to bring this one back so I can increase its wisdom to three. So what have I done so far? I've moved it. Or did I already do the send and return? I should really pay more attention on my turns. I honestly can't remember if I did the send and return first. I'm gonna just assume that I did, and when I edit, I will know whether or not I did it properly. Let's go in here. Um, okay. I'm trying to set myself up for the next turn. Let's see how blue will ruin my day. In D, they want to build a sacred site, but they can't. So instead, they get their followers back, and they'll gain wisdom in the monolith, and in moving or shifting. Okay. And then they're going to they wanted to move this down, shift it, sorry, but they can't because
because they're the mountain, but they can do their third action, which is to ascend on the track. In D, they want to build a sacred site, and they cannot, so they're going to build themselves a mountain in D. They're going to go right there, and they're going to build their first sacred site. Okay, so they gain a wisdom for that in mountains. Very good. They're going to remove the highest number in C. There are two fours, so someone's going to take this one away. And he ascends two on the track. Two. And the game ends when someone reaches 50, so I need to move it. <laughs> this is how lost last time too. They ascend so quickly on the track, like it's impossible to catch up, but we'll see. I'm trying to walk over there. I just wish that I could somehow gain a wisdom before that. But no luck, so I will go here to journey one, two, three. I will send this guy over to my sacred site so he can start uh, studying in the mode. Still can't build. I mean, I'm gonna have to shift something. What can I try to set myself up for? I guess I'm gonna try to walk over there eventually, so let's let me send this guy. Okay, but just so that I remember, I've sent someone up. And I've journeyed, so this is my last action. And I think I'll go here and shift everything here by one. Okay. Blue would like to build in C. There is no mountain in C, so they're going to send someone to study. They're going to shift this row to, and of course, go up on the track. Green will try to build in B. There we go. They're building a shrine. And they're going to place a follower on the shrine. And then they're going to try to move this row to... Wow, that... That's terrible. One, two... One, two... Yep, that ruined my plan. <laughs> Good job, green. And they're gonna move up one. Run away. Up one this way, up to the ten, and the ten is another red spot. So you get a two, and you get a two, you get a two, and Made it to. Um, let's see. Yep, that's everything. Well done, Green. You ruined everything. Okay. 
I need to do more ascending and returning so I can actually gain wisdom. But they really ruined what I wanted to do. Oh well, not necessarily. I can still walk there. Okay, so I'm going to go to Journey. I can do one, two, three, so I can build, and I'll use probably this guy, maybe this one, move him here to build, so I can build this beautiful temple, and my dude goes whoop on top, and for building a temple, I ascend. Two, and I gain three wisdom. Three. Now I have a new dude. A new follower has joined the team. Okay. So that's only been okay. That was two actions. My third action. I am going to move use this one oh no never mind does not work as planned hmm so I'm trying to walk over this way but the problem is this tile has water on the mountainside that I'm standing on, so I can't actually walk there yet. Hmm. Oh, but I can just... I can just move them. Yeah, so the... Uh, which one? No. Yeah. Move. I'm going to move this two up like that. So I've now set myself up for later. Oh, and okay, so I forgot some stuff again because I built Wild Green had a follower on their site, they gain a wisdom. So they all gain a marvelous wisdom. And either C, A, or B, they will build a site. Oh, not there. Again, this, they can't access this. That's not a part of the quadrant. Uh, but B, they can't because they're already there. And there's nothing in C. That was lucky. Um, they wanted to shift this row, but they cannot mountain and then nothing happens that's good that's good for me and green is gonna go ahead and ruin everything I'm sure in A they want to build a site they cannot so they will send someone to study Then they're going to try to shift that middle row too, which they can't because now there's two mountains, but they do ascend. Okay. Right. So if I go here to journey and I move, I can move up to three. So one, two, three. Can now build this guy over here to then build, and that is a shrine. There we go. So I get two ascension points and two wisdoms. Ooh. Okay. 
I'll do that for one. So now I can move a single tile. And I want to get some end game points here, so. Let's me move that one up. Okay. Um, okay, what have I done so far? I've moved and I built. So I can do a third thing, which will be to go here. So I'm going to send this one to study and this one to study because I can send up to three. Okay. In quadrant A, they want to build a sacred site. They cannot, but they can send a follower to study. So I'm going to move this row to one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. And they will ascend. So in either A or B, they want to build a shrine, and they can't, and everything else is empty, so that's the lucky round for me. Okay, so I definitely want to get some people back so we can earn some wisdom. But we got to be strategic about this. I am able to move singles. So if I go here first, move a single tile. I will smash this into this to make a mountain. And then I will journey and walk one, two, three, which is as far as I can go. So I will send and return for my last trick. I can do up to three, so let's do that. And let's be careful where I place them. One, two, and three, which one, two, three, releasing this. We can go study. That's it for this turn. Okay, in B, they want to build. They cannot. They can't. Oh, they can send to study. In B. There you go. And two to the right in this row. They can't. But they may ascend. They want to build in B, but they can't, so they'll send to study. They don't change the board, but they do ascend. We are, we are inches away from the end of the game. So let's see if I can get one more, one more uh, shrine or something. So, we'll journey for three, so we don't even need the full three, and then I'm going to build a sacred site, 
And when I build, I gain a wisdom. And I ascend to two. So I've moved and I've built. And now I'm going to send and return. And I can do now unlimited. So let's fill up all my spaces. One here, one here, and one here. Okay, I'm assuming the game is about to end. If they want to build in A, they can. I'll do that, and they're going to place Dune on it. And because they built, they gain a Wisdom in this. There you go. They would like to move the center around. They're not allowed. There's a mountain blocking. But they do ascend. Okay. okay, now if this has on the bottom the ascension mark, then the game ends and everyone gets one more turn. Well, yellow and blue get one more turn. Okay. Yep, game ends. <laughs> well, let's see. In A, they want to build, uh, they can build and put a dune, so there you go, uh-huh, but blue gains a wisdom in that, and I gain a wisdom, because when you build on top of someone else, so long as they're present, you gain a wisdom. Do that. They're going to remove the highest value in A, which is probably this. Yep, it's three here. And ascend two, which does in fact bring them to the tippy top. Okay. So now yellow and blue get one more turn. Okay. Okay. Now I need to figure it out, so I'd have to like waste a movement, like say shift and shift something that doesn't matter in order to come back to send or return. But I need to math it out so that I get as many points as possible at the game end. So right now I'm getting two points for every follower that's out to study. So it's one, two. Six. So I've got 12 points in followers. And I've got, I'm getting two points for each shrine that I've built. So that's four of these points, two of these points, and two of these. But if I gained this, well, even if I made it up to here, so if I took two away, let's say, and gained two wisdoms, I move this up to here, and then I'm gaining five points, so then this becomes ten, two, and two, so then I'd be getting fourteen. Uh, sacred site points, but then I'd only get one, two, three, four times two, eight. The eight and the fourteen. I think that's still better than the ten and the eight. Ten and eight versus, what did I say, eight and fourteen? Okay. Okay. I think I mathed it properly. So what I'm going to do 
is something that's meaningless. You know, like I'll just erupt a volcano. We're gonna erupt this one. So instead of a two on a one, it's now a three. Sure. Cool. Just notice this is empty. That needs a thing. Okay. Now I'm going to send and return. There's no other way I can gain points, eh? Yeah. So I'll bring these back, and I don't think it really matters where I put them. Do that. I've gained two wisdoms, so this will go up two. And technically I have another action left. So I'll Why not erupt again? And which one shall we erupt today? Oh, you know what? We never got to see what happens when there's a lot of eruption. Um, okay, don't think... Oh yeah, I can erupt more than one volcano. Yeah. So there we go. We are erupting six. So the one becomes a four. We still have, still have lots of left over here. So that was only three. We have three left. It's going to spill into this one, turning that one into a four. Okay. And for blue's last turn. They want to build a mountain in D and build a sacred site. They gain a point here. They're going to remove the highest value in A. I guess it's two. Well, I guess it beats it two with a volcano. And they would gain two ascension points, but they can't, so they're, they're stuck there. Okay. And now, classically, we don't know who has won yet. We need to do the math. Okay. Let's see if I did any better this time around. So, blue. 14 ascension points, green gets off 15, and I get 8. Okay, and then how many normal victory points? I don't have any here. But blue has 5, 6, and green has 4. We have a big old zero. Okay, how many of these? They get one for everyone out to study. So one, two, three, four points. And green gets one. One, two, three, four as well. And I get two points. So it's one, two, three, four times two is eight. Okay, how many monolith points? Four times we've got two monoliths, so it's an eight. You are also getting four monolith points. You've only got one though, so four. And I get five, and I placed two. So points to me that for the shrines you get three times so it's three times one three points green 
only gets one point. And you used one. So one point. I only placed one, but I get two for it. And temples. You get one point. And the blue never put down a temple. Wow. And green gets two points per temple. They did one. Green gets two. And I also get two points. Oh, we haven't done one. Okay. I don't think this is going in my favor. But let's do the math here. Okay, blue, 35 points, green, Thirty-four versus me. <laughs> okay, so I still lost, but at least I was somewhat in the same area. I earned 30 points, green has 34, and blue's the winner at 35. Which just seems silly, considering I'm the one that built the most shrine stuff. Like, I had two models, a shrine, and a temple. And we only got one of each out there. They don't even have temples. We got two of those and one of those. How? How is it fair? But I can't lie, I love this game. It's frustrating. But when you're playing with another player and there's only one, AI that, if you will, it's actually a lot better, and I say that because I won by one point when I played against a human. See what I mean? The ascension trap, they just move up so quickly. I feel like I didn't even get anywhere here, but regardless, I had fun playing it, and I hope you had a relaxing time me struggle and I will start to put this away I'm not gonna force you